Y'all seem to like me consistently pointing out what incredible liars and propagandists the establishment communist media, their politician owners, members of the Hollywood communist cult, and brain-dead athletes are, so let's just continue with that, shall we? And all I have left to say before my friends in the booth hit the intro music is, how about that alt-right Republican Trump-supported Colorado shooter, huh? Wait, that's not a thing? Well, sh- Hey everybody, thanks for joining me one more time for another edition of The Best Kept Secret in the Conservative Movement, Things That Need to Be Said. From RCTV, I'm Nick Kangadis. Really quick, I'd love it if all of you could head on over to Rumble, subscribe to our channel, and hit that plus button. And no matter where you watch our videos, please share, like, don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love to read what you guys have to say, and I couldn't do what I do without all of you. Now, on with the show. It's Thanksgiving week, so I'm not gonna take up too much of your time today that should be spent with family because that's what's important, not the parasites I talk about every week. In that vein, let's get right to just how much of the communist media are lying liars from lying to merely pushing propaganda since the truth is something they understand only when they're issuing corrections. Now a disgusting and unforgivable act that both sides of the political aisle strongly condemn. But that hasn't stopped prominent Democrats like Nancy Pelosi from exploiting this tragedy to basically, baselessly claim that this man was motivated by the dangerous MAGA movement. To Tucker Carlson. Fundamentalist preachers. Faith leaders. Our former president. Nazi Germany. Neo-Nazis. If you've lived under a rock for the last day or so, you wouldn't have known that everything we just showed you that they them said was bullshit. Why? Because I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever seen a Trump supporter or right-wing extremist identify as anything other than an American, let alone non-binary, as well as use any kind of pronouns. And haven't we all gotten a little sick and effing tired of these pieces of human refuse in the communist media projecting their own hate onto everyone else for things that at least eight out of ten times they do themselves? It's past time to go on the attack, and I don't mean physically assault people, I mean intellectually. Use your vowels. We're so fixated on always taking the high road, and I'm not saying we should drop being classy to an extent. What I am saying is that while the families of the affected should be the focal point of our attention to these situations, we also need to let as many people as possible know who's responsible without giving the jerk who did it, the crazy person who did it, their 15 minutes of wanted fame. I know it's difficult when the communists own the media, but we still need to shout from the rooftops who the bad people are the vast majority of the time. Now moving on, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm applauding for a politician for their brutal honesty in the face of the ignorance we typically get from Congress. Tom Tiffany from Wisconsin recently brought up what looks like was the intentional killing of our country's energy independence by President Joe Bolshevik Beijing Biden's regime. If people did not believe candidate Biden's words in 2020, they certainly saw it immediately on January 20th of 2021 when the Keystone Pipeline was shut down. The pipeline of sending people up from Panama to America was opened up. The exact opposite of what the American people had hoped for. It was followed up by removing sanctions on the Nord Stream line, uh, sending the message to the Germans, hey, you're gonna be just okay. As um, I think the, my colleague from California stated, um, and I'll put a finer point on it, I think it was just a couple months ago, the number one search over in Germany was how to cut firewood. Think about it. Number one search uh, going into search engines is how are we going to cut firewood as a result of the Germans' dependence on the Russians which they were warned about. And the main reason I brought up what Tiffany said is, does anyone else remember when the Germans in 2018 or 19 laughed at former President Donald Trump and, and looked at each other like Trump was out of his mind when he spoke at the UN and claimed that Germany would be reliant on Russian energy should they not change the trajectory they were on at the time? Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy if it does not immediately change course. Here in the Western Hemisphere, we are committed to maintaining our independence from the encroachment of expansionist foreign powers. It has been the formal policy of our country since President Monroe 
that we reject the interference of foreign nations in this hemisphere and in our own affairs. Much like other countries in Europe who didn't heed Trump's warning, it looks like there's a severe energy shortage heading into the winter. So much so that, well, just play that quote from Tiffany one more time. The number one search over in Germany was how to cut firewood. Who's laughing now, Krauts? Vivalastic <laughs> Christians! On a lighter note, before I get out of here, I just wanted to wish all of you a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving. I can tell you that one thing I'm thankful for, especially this year, is not being a leftist moron who just says words to say words because I think I'm important somehow for saying those words. In saying that, the other thing I'm thankful for is all of you and the kind words you send my way each and every week. If it weren't for you guys as my main motivation for doing what I do, it wouldn't be nearly as worth it. Now saying that, and I don't ever do this because I don't like to presume on our conversations as friends, but if you like the work we do here at MRC TV and the Media Research Center in general, please give a thought of going to mrc.org slash donate as we are a nonprofit organization and really can't do what we do without all of you. Again, I wish all of you a very happy Thanksgiving. So, were these things that needed to be said? Let me know in the comments where I do read most and reply to some. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Rumble and hit that plus button. If you like this video, don't forget to share, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people, and it's the best way to let us know you want us to keep these videos coming. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that YouTube might actually let you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video if they haven't censored it or taken it down yet. Like us on Facebook and check out more of our work at MRCTV.org. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.